Welcome, I'm Foligon, and in this video I'm going to show you three tips to easily learn digital sculpting. And make sure you stick around to the end for a bonus tip that'll show you how to improve even faster. Now if you want to know what brushes or tools I use, I do have videos on that, and I'll link one in the top corner for you to check out. But in this video, I more so want to focus on the fundamental of digital sculpting. And I want to make this as easily digestible as possible. So first things first, we need to start with the fundamental of digital sculpting, and that is form. So in drawing, we have line. In painting, we have shapes. And in sculpting, we have form. And when you think about sculpting form, you need to think about layers. This is a tutorial of mine called a model map, that illustrates the concept of layers really well. In this tutorial, I show how to break down complex form into its layers step by step. Because you can't just go from nothing to this. You have to build it up one step at a time. So this is a very beginner-friendly tutorial and it is my number one recommendation for you if you wanna improve quickly at digital sculpting. Now studies are the best way for you to improve. You have to practice to get better because theory can only take you so far. So I have three super simple tips you can do to improve your sculpting of good forms with a focus on layers. With one quick note, and that is to keep things fun, because if you're not having fun, you will burn out eventually, so make sure you're working on things that you enjoy. All right, my first tip, tracing your reference image to break it down into simple shapes. Normally, tracing is bad, right? Not in sculpting. It's a fantastic way to learn more about your reference and there are many ways you can go about it. You can use line to separate the plane changes of your form and help better understand the larger shapes that you're seeing, or you can use large blocks of color to help break down the two-dimensional shapes that you're seeing. This can be especially helpful for figuring out the silhouette and proportions of your sculpt. My second tip for you is to sculpt basic forms without overlaying your reference. If you're constantly looking for model sheets that show your subject from every angle so you can just overlay your reference on top of your model, you're never going to get better. So instead, sculpt with your reference off to the side. This will be really hard at first, but it is a much faster way to improve. You're going to start working muscles that you probably haven't worked very often, and it is going to be tough. But if you don't give up and you stick with this kind of practice, it'll be super helpful for you. My third tip for you is to get feedback on your simple forms, those early stages. Don't wait and don't rush ahead. This is when you can overlay your reference and see how you're doing. So you worked on your sculpt for a little while with your reference off to the side. Now you can check on it and see how you're progressing. Plus, get feedback from other people, whether that be friends and family, an art community online, or a professional mentor like myself. Outside influences are going to help you grow much faster than just existing in a bubble. And a bonus tip for all of you, after you get your feedback and iterate on your sculpt, it's time for you to advance to the next layer. This is sometimes referred to as secondary form, but a major thing that's going to help you a lot here is to take just one part of your sculpt and think of that as its own piece. Then ask yourself the same questions you were doing before, how can I break this down into its most simple shapes? Because all secondary form is, is form on top of other form. So if you can treat this singular piece just like you treated your larger sculpt as a whole, you'll have no problem moving forward. And if you're a beginner, that's the best way to start thinking about layers and improve quickly. And if you'd like to learn everything I know about digital sculpting, check out the Appeal Academy. There's a link below for that. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll also really enjoy this one where I talk about how I confidently learned to draw in just two years without any art school. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.